Hey guys, this video is to show you how to position your guitar. When you're ready to play, take the waist of the guitar and set it on your right leg to be in this position. That way the neck points out to your left side and your right arm will be able to dangle over the sound hole for strumming or plucking. And your left hand fingers will wrap underneath the neck and come over the strings to play what's called the frets. Let me show you how to play the frets on the guitar. Take your first finger and place it on the first string right behind this metal strip. You'll be on the first fret, and as you pinch down, you can play that string. Go ahead and play frets two, three, and four, and then try that on every string. Make sure you use different fingers and play them on the fingertip with the curved finger. Listen for very clear notes. And go on trying to make each one as smooth as possible. Covering frets one through four and all six strings gives you a really good guitar hand. You'll hear more about that later. To make sure you understand the strings, the frets, and the right and left hand of playing guitar, I'm gonna explain the numbering of the strings. If you look closest to the floor, this string down here is your thinnest. And we call that string one. There are six strings, obviously. So count up from one to six and memorize which number is which string. Frets go along the neck from one all the way to whatever number you have on your guitar. When we match up frets and strings, we can play a note. So for example, fret one and string one is right here. When we fret one note and play it in the right hand, that's called a pluck. But when we have more than one note, more than one fret down, we're gonna do what's called a strum. So you may have seen that before in singer songwriters or country stars, strumming chords and singing. And that all comes from the right hand and usually they're using a pick and I don't have one today. The strum direction generally starts by going from the lowest string towards the floor. Practice that without any frets on your guitar. Work on strumming down and up so you can have different rhythms. Here's a chord diagram. The six strings are vertical across the diagram. From left to right, you have six, five, four, three, two, one. The frets are horizontal. Here we can see the middle finger is number two on the third fret of the sixth string. Once that is placed, place your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string. Going on, we have the fourth string open, the third string open, then the ring finger is the third finger on the third fret of the second string. Finally, the pinky is placed on the third fret of your thinnest string, first string. You can strum down from the sixth string all the way through your G chord. Here's what that G chord looks like. Make sure you have all fingers in place and they're curved and on their fingertips. If you have one or two muted strings, that's okay for now. And maybe listen for some buzzing notes like that. Work on getting a good grip for a G chord and understanding that diagram before we get started.